Good morning everyone and welcome to Christmas Eve. It's currently four minutes to six. Now normally I don't get up till six o'clock but because it's Christmas Eve and I feel a need to buy fresh vegetables I am currently sitting in the supermarket car park about to go in and buy a few groceries and frankly questioning my life choices. <laughs> right it's now 20 past six and we're done. Whatever I haven't got, whatever I haven't got now, we will live without for 24 hours. <laughs> Why does Christmas do this to me? Why? <laughs> My name's Leslie, normally the presenter of the Not Quite Enough Yarn podcast, but this is my last Vlogmas episode because it's Christmas Eve. Huge thank you to everyone who's watched these Vlogmas pieces, um, all the comments, all the likes. Some of you have made me laugh, some of you have made me think, um, all of you have made me smile. So thank you so much. And even those who are not having the best of times at the moment, thank you for reaching out and commenting. It's such a privilege to be part of this community and I'm very grateful to everyone. So, big thanks. I've really enjoyed putting them together and the feedback that I've got from them has absolutely compounded that. So, huge, huge thank you. So Christmas Eve is an odd sort of day. Um, if I still had a proper job, I'd probably be in an office right now. Um, but it's one of those days where you're trying to really mix kind of home and work life. You've already seen that I've been to the supermarket at silly o'clock this morning. And I wasn't alone. It wasn't too busy, actually. It wasn't too bad, but uh, certainly wasn't the only person there. Um, came home and thought, have I got enough bread? Are we all right for milk? Why does Christmas do this to me? The shops are closed for 24 hours maximum. Chances are if I really had run out of milk, there'll be a convenient shop open somewhere. But no, I go into this ah, panic. Hey ho. I have got enough milk. I have got enough bread. And if not, We'll have something else. It's fine. No one is going to starve in this house. That's guaranteed. <laughs> so this morning, lots of kind of administration, householdy type stuff for me. Odd bit of work emailing, bit of admin there. And then I will be converting this room, my precious sanctuary, into a spare room for two hulking great lads because my nephews will be sleeping here at Christmas night. So that's the plan for today. And then I'll be going off to see my dad and we will be going carol singing. He lives near Canterbury and we're not singing in the cathedral, I feel the need to stress that. Uh, every year in Canterbury they have outdoor carol singing in the city centre. And it's an odd quirk of UK cities that most cities in the UK are cities because the, because they have a cathedral. They're not large places that then get a big church built. It's the other way around. It's a legacy of the power of the church from centuries ago. So Canterbury is not a big place, but it is a city because of the cathedral. And the singing actually happens in the shopping centre. So quite a Quite an indication of the modern Christmas experience, I feel. But it's a really nice time. Lots of people around um, singing along, raising money for local charities. There's normally a bit of a speech from the Archbishop, Salvation Army Band to accompany the singing, a choir. Just really lovely, nice gentle start to Christmas. Feels quite festive. So I'll be there with my dad, hopefully some other members of the family as well and I'll get some bits of footage for you. Um, with regard to the family, we're rarely all together at Christmas because a lot of uh, my relatives are nurses. So either they're at work or they're in bed because they've been at non-nights or 
they're going to be working that night so uh, that's why we rarely spend Christmas Day together but we try and do these other bits and pieces around them according to people's schedules so so that's all good and that will be the end of it all for this year and then I'll see you again um, when I do the Not Quite Enough Yarn podcast at the end of the month. So again, huge thank you to everyone. Um, I've been overwhelmed by the responses that I've had and I'm very, very grateful to you all. Thank you. Have a great Christmas. Whether you make a big thing of it, whether you treat it as just another day, I hope that it's a calm, peaceful, warm and fuzzy type of day for you and that you are happy at the end of it. Take care everyone. Thank <laughs> you.